there. Back to our ring announcer. Bout number two is a kickboxing bout in the featherweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the red corner, John Hensley. John Hensley in the featherweight kickboxing division here. From McCarr, Kentucky, yeah, Nathan. A little stone throw away from Williamson, if I do say so myself. Uh, fights with Swift Combat, coached by Devin Stanley. Went to Belfry High School. One goal he has is to become a better fighter. Jacob LeMaster. Let me take on Jacob LeMaster, another rookie here to the fight world. Both men making their amateur debuts. Hensley weighs in at 140 pounds. 5'7", only 19 years old, so getting into this early on. LeMaster, 143 pounds, 19 years of age as well. Making his kickboxing debut, weighing in at 143.8 pounds, standing at 5'8", from Paintsville, Kentucky, Jacob LeMaster. Coming all the way from Paintsville. Well, Jacob Lee Master is trained by Josh Stepp, who is an undefeated professional fighter. Lee Master was a track and field star. Matt Jones, your official here for this kickboxing match. I believe three, one, is it one or two minute rounds? Josh, you had those notes. I believe it's two, Nathan. All right, three, two minute rounds. Touch gloves, here we go. Here we go. Again, no takedowns in kickboxing, just straight fists and fists and feet. And LeMaster coming out strong, thrust kick. Right in front of us here in front of the cage. He is working the body. Working the body as much as he can, just throwing those kicks right to the... Hensley right trying to, to battle, battle back. Him. Going to create distance here, Josh. Both men coming out, fire. Oh! oh! I think Hensley blocked it, though. Good block by Hensley. That would have connected his teeth, would have been about the fourth row. Both guys working the thrust kicks, trying to keep some distance here. LeMaster's working that jab. Looking for a hook here, if he can get it. Now you see Hensley kind of creating distance, covering up. LeMaster now get those hands up. That's one thing you've both been got to do, got to protect their face. and Kind of a feeling out here. Both men trying to throw those body shots, trying to hit that one big shot to the abdominal area. It just takes one, as we saw in our last fight, Josh. And now well, Hensley's going to have to get out of the cage here. Interesting to see kickboxing inside of a cage. It's very different than being against the ropes. And now both men kind of maybe catching their breath a little bit here as both came out firing with stiff shots. And now Hensley working the jab, goes with an overhand cross. Got to watch, a little low there on that kick. Now LeMaster goes in. Kind of telegraphing that kick a little bit. Oh, that thrust, thrust kick he didn't know. Kick, though. <laughs> Both men keeping their distance. And now Lee Master oh, caught him shot. with the right hand. One to the body. Oh, 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 oh. caught him right in the face. He gets right back up, though. Hensley not staying down. No, he didn't. Popped Hensley's right back okay. up. He popped right back up. He says he's good. Stiff shot. Now, standing eight count mandatory by referee Matt Jones. Checking him, make sure he's okay. And that's the end of the round. End of the round. My goodness. What a way to end the round. LeMaster catches him with a stiff shot to the face. Let's take a look at that on our replay here. You'll see it right here and come around. Boom! Boom! Right in the side of the head. Hensley was covered up. He just dropped his hands to try to go for an offensive move, and that foot caught him right in the face. Caught him right in the jaw. But give Hensley credit. He got right back up. He did. He didn't stay down. And here it is. A couple other shots landed on our replay. And Josh. There's that kick again. Yeah, that is a stiff vicious shot. Vicious shot. Well, we're going to go to our unofficial scorecard at the end of round one. Brought to you this round by Small Town Tattoos. Josh, what's your unofficial scorecard look well, like? Nathan, so far I'm going to give it a 10-9 to LeMaster just for that one shot knocking him down. Would almost give it an 8, but but Hensley, but I'll give Hensley the credit popping back up there and, and wanting to get right back into the fight. Well, our, our unofficial scorecard has, has LeMaster leading 10-9 here at the end of the first round. I would go 10-8, but hey, you're the doctor here. You're the fight doctor. A little lenient on my scorecard so far. That's why it's but unofficial. That, but that's why... Uh, 
just respecting the tenacity of, of, of Hensley to pop right back up after that shot. Oh, he could, eating some hands eating inside some hands. of the cage. He's going to have to get off the cage. Now, you see, LeMaster came out there, had a couple shots to the face. Hensley has taken the blows, though. Kind of working that kick now. Hensley immediately covers his, hand, covers his head back up again. Probably not the, the dumbest move of the night. No, definitely not. Oh! Heard that. Yeah, I think that was a little, a little low. low. Referee Matt Jones is going to take a timeout here. We're going to let... All right, we are back, and we apologize for those technical issues. During that round, there were some more big shots landed, but no knockdowns, no knockouts. We will go to round three now. We do apologize yet again for those technical issues. We hoped to have that resolved, and we'll head to round three now between John Hensley and Jacob LeMaster, the Battle of Kentucky here in this fight. And, Josh, what did you see? I know our, our viewers at home were unable to catch – some of the, the ending of that round, but the, the low blow kind of brought everything to a halt. Uh, who do you give that round to? Once again, they got to give it to the master. The master was absolutely just tearing up there, and he, 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 kept, he kept Hensley on the cage for most of the round. Um, just got to give yeah. it to the master. Landed, landed a lot of overhand rights and some nice jabs. Really worked the body well. Now – You'd almost have to look at it now as Hensley needs a knockout if he's going to win this round and win the fight. Needs a knockout and or a knockdown, absolutely. This unofficial scorecard was brought to you this round by Video Productions. And now we will. Here we go. Now. Final round. And now LeMaster well, leads. Hensley, Hensley's got it going in, Josh, and go for the kill. He has to get a knockout here if he wants to win this fight. He's measuring. He's trying his best to land that big shot. Oh, oh. another low shot there, and ref's calling time. Our clock, our unofficial clock does not stop when the timeout is called. It does now. <laughs> As our producers tried to stay. He's doing about five things at once. So Robbie Mounts is doing a great job. Right, touch gloves, and we're back at it again here. Time is back in, and again, our times and scores are unofficial, so, oh, oh, hard right. Slipped on the cage. Slipped on the cage, almost cost him as he caught a right hand, did Hensley, and LeMaster now. Oh, nobody heard that one, got him right in the elbow, I think. Nobody told LeMaster he was winning on points. He's going in for a knockout. And, oh, oh, man, just slugging. throwing bombs. Absolutely, Josh, right against the cage. As Joe Mounts, our cameraman, bringing it right into your living room. Now LeMaster leading with that jab. Hensley's got to go for it here. There's not much time left. He kicked him right now in the gloves. And Hensley has done a good job since the first round of blocking those kicks. That dangerous right foot of Jacob LeMaster. Now Jacob LeMaster again goes for that kick. Nobody home. Hensley worked the body. Hensley now bounces back. He's tired, John. He's tired. You hear the corner man saying, telling John he's getting tired. Went for that. I, I totally agree kick. with him. He is getting tired, Josh. He's getting winded. He's throwing bombs for most of the time. fight. Not much time left. Oh! All right, they're calling that a slip. Ten seconds remain in the round. He's going to have to go for it. Hensley can land a big shot. He may have him here. Ten seconds left. I don't think there's going to be enough time. And that's, that's it. LeMaster survives the third round as Hensley was the aggressor. They're not going to score that as a knockdown, but LeMaster, Josh, got tired there at the end of the round. And that's where the problem started. But I think still LeMaster will come out with the win. Of course, that is our unofficial opinion as Hensley. Hensley fought hard and valiant in that third Absolutely, round. Absolutely, Nathan. Take nothing away from him. Once again, both men went there and throwing bombs. We will go to our judges' scorecards for the first time tonight and get the official scores. Again, Josh, uh, that round brought to you by Apex Printing. Let's go to our unofficial scorecard well, brought Nathan, to you by Apex Printing. Nathan, the first honestly, round. I gave that, that <coughs> as, 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 as folks at home may know, Nathan is a little under the weather, so if you hear that, Sorry. 
and we apologize in advance. Uh, Nathan, I'm giving that round to Hensley. I, 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 he was the he was the aggressor. He got some good shots off on that, and uh, I'm going to give that round to him. Yeah, I thought Hensley controlled that round for the most part. He landed more shots. Lamaster had really was nearly spent by the the third round. But I don't think it's going to be enough. But we'll have to wait and see what our judges say. Crazier things have happened in the world of boxing, mixed martial arts, kickboxing. Absolutely, Nathan. Unanimous decision out of the blue corner. Jacob Lee Master with the win, Josh. Unanimous decision. Judges agree with you and I as Lamaster dominated the first two rounds, and that gave him the edge here.